All right, so this is probably gonna be two videos. I'm gonna do a quick one of everything I wanna plant this year. Yeah, we're back here. It's confusing. Um, Okay, I'm coming, baby. You little princess. But I'm gonna do a quick one of what I wanna plant this year. And then I'll do another video of what our future plans are and explain everything to you. I'm coming, baby, one sec. Impatient. So on this little flower bed right here, I'm gonna do my peppers, my tomatoes, maybe some broccoli. I might try peas and beans again. Maybe a little corn, I don't know. I'm coming. But I'm gonna try to get as much in as I possibly can just because how everything's going. Over in this little section over here, I'm gonna till it up real well and do carrots and radishes again, see if that works. Didn't work out for, well for me last time. Um. Over here, I'm going to do my herbs again in here. And then, and that one is going to be lettuce. And it's been a couple years, so I know I'm not poisoning the ground. All right, so. I might plant some flowers in that pot and put somewhere I don't know yet. Up front, I'm gonna get some more pots and do a lot of flowers. I want color this year. But over here, hopefully, my uh, mint comes back. I did have mint here. I don't know if it's coming back or not. But we'll see. Um, I'm gonna plant a bunch of south sunflowers. I do not know exactly what those are. I think they're a lily. And then I have some daffodils in the center, but. I'm going to do a bunch of sunflowers up here, just with all that's going on. There's that little princess. So I believe that's all I'm planting right now. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of update videos today just because my phone's being stupid. I can't get long videos for some reason. And I'll now I'm going to go on to what we're, the future plans are for the place. But it might be two parts. I don't know. Um... Yeah, excuse the Christmas decorations still at the ground's frozen. We can't get them. You know, princess. Hey, hi. So this front flower bed, I want to extend it out to the corner of this and just go straight across. I know the curved look, it looks pretty, but it's a pain with the yard maintenance. Aubrey, come back here. Um, that bush that she's at, my phone will focus, and that corner bush is coming out. I want to put a flower bed around the mailbox just make it a little easier to manage around with um, mowing the lawn um what you doing princess the neighbor was going by this fence I'm gonna extend up probably about another feet maybe more maybe three get up to six foot and we're gonna put a fence from this corner over covering out the back come over here princess come on come on we're gonna go over here come here Aubrey Rose you better not be eating things off of that so and then we're gonna do the same thing over here Taking from the corner straight across and extending that up so the backyard will be fenced off. The dog and her can all play back here. I won't have to worry about them getting out. Ideally, I want a privacy fence. Probably not going to happen because, well, they're pricey. And I don't want to take out a bunch of trees. Come on, princess! Um, going to prune back this juniper Ugh. Decent amount, just maybe, I don't know. Might just prune just to get it healthier. And the juniper in front's gonna get pruned. Um, hopefully, next year. But we'll be getting raised garden beds for here. And the only reason we're able to make all these of improvements, and it's gonna be in the next couple of years, is we're actually 
most likely buying this house. I'll explain that in a later video. I'm sorry about the wind. It's spring in Wyoming. Come on, princess. So we'll have raised garden beds here. Um, this little flower bed, I want to, we're ripping this wood out and we're going to extend it out. I don't know if we're going to go to the top of the main tops, like to this step or all the way out. Personally, I want it all the way out just because more planting. And then we're going to lay a concrete path all the way down. We're ripping up this brick. But we're going to have concrete all the way down so we don't have an edge. We don't have to mow on this side. It'll just be watering the plants and weeding. Um, I want a patio Mom. put out. So the patio would go from this corner Mom. out Mom. to what? Possibly about right here. This is most likely just going to all be dirt just because... Whatever, I might plant stuff under, I don't know. But I have a dog, so. And then it's going to come at least out to this corner. So a nice big patio. We can have come out, sit. Aubrey, you get back here. You no going in front without me, baby. That's why I can't wait for the fence, because she can't escape. And then I might have it come out this way a little more. So we can have our little fire pit over there that that metal thing out here like we can have it under the trees our our trees are high enough that we can have it out enough but i'm gonna have raised beds over there so not really room and then the lilacs are too low but maybe have the fire pit out here i'm sorry my yard's a mess my dog Mom. you okay baby okay. okay so just be able to have some fun um I got a lot of landscaping to do holes to fill because I have, like I said, I have a husky pit mix. He's a duck mutt. But um, I'm going to, my clothesline, I'm probably going to eh, work on it a little bit. Prune back some of those lilacs just so they're not crouching as much. Back here, I want to put a uh, kind of I want to lay brick around the well, just so I don't have to figure out mowing along the well. So maybe come from this corner out to about, I want to say right here and straight, have brick laid around. We don't have to mow when, like, I don't have to deal with this. And then I also want to maybe put a flower bed or a smaller garden bed back here. This is originally where I wanted to put a bigger garden bed and have that and then maybe about right here, straight, take it a corner. Be able to plant some stuff out here just because this gets a lot of sun during the day. This would be perfect for tomatoes. I have to run by my fans and try to get them to understand. And I hate how the grass grows back here. It's mostly weeds. Considering it slopes away from the house. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, I have two options for things. If we're ever allowed chickens in town... Come here. I either want to put the coop in this little section. Aubrey, come on, princess. This <laughs> school's out. Have a, uh, like, the coop and the run in this little section. Come on, princess, come here. I want to show you something. Me. Or it'll be over there. One sec, let me get this little princess and then I'll show you. I can't trust her to run off. Oh. <sighs> Just... Yes, it would. It's in a weird spot, but we have a small yard. Stop it. Or. Come on. Aubrey Rose, do you want to go inside with the puppy? Okay. Yeah, figured. Or I can put it. Ooh, can't see the screen. Like, we could put it back here. We're going to get a new shed. Hopefully, get a nice big garden shed, maybe. But I could put it, like, back here. If I do it, if we get a new garden shed, I could have it hooked onto the shed. So you go in the shed to get the eggs, have a little coop, a little run out here. It'd be closer to the garden. It would be easier. Come on, let's go inside. Let's go get puppy. 
So we'll go inside and I'll go over a few things that I want to do in there. Maybe I can fit this all in one video. Possibly not. Aubrey, come. But in the reason with fencing off the backyard, that way she can have the run out here. She can come out and play. We don't have to really be chasing her down and easier to put him out. So, oh, fun house. These are some flowers I have, but I have to get more. But I'm gonna be planting those next month or starting them at least. So yeah, it really don't the many things. Um, we might be getting a cat after we buy this house. My fiance wants a cat. He likes cats better than dogs. And if that happens, the litter box is going in the garage and I'm putting a cat door on that. So I am not dealing with that crap. Hey buddy. Um, but the only reason we're thinking about buying or we might be buying the house is our landlords. They're getting older, they want to get out of the renter business. Um, and <clears throat> they're wanting to sell all the houses they have for rent, but they all want to sell them to the people they're renting. So, sorry, I'm just, my house is mess. All right, so they want to sell the houses to the people they're renting from them, make it easier. Um, from what I was told, they would finance us and we just have to pay it off. But so it looks like we're buying this house. Silas, please close the door, baby. Yes, we'd both prefer to live in the country, but we do what we can. Here, I'll just show you the lovely plants I have right now. <laughs> but that's what it's looking at right now. Um... That happens. We have a lot of work we want to do. A lot of stuff we want to get done. But there's that. So from for in here, sorry I ramble. This is just what I have planted. So I have some basil. This basil, um, I actually I bought live basil from a store in the grocery section. The ones it's aquaponic, the aquaponic grown basil. I believe it's aquaponic. But so it still had the roots on, and I just planted it in dirt. And this can is actually a powdered milk can. But I just planted it. It's been doing good. I've had it for a few months. Um, my cilantro died. I put more seeds in. And yeah, I left the dead on top. Just whatever. This is rosemary. Um, the roots on my oldest aloe vera, I just put this in water today. They rotted because apparently I watered it too much but yeah it's pretty wet down at the bottom so the roots rotted so I cut them back and then I'm trying to reroot. this is the aloe vera I bought during the winter from Walmart it's doing pretty good I got whatever flower this is the ones you get around Christmas my poor avocado is I think it died I don't know who knows? But, and then I have thyme started in here, and then oregano started here. Oh, my pretty rosemary, though. It's so pretty. So I got those going. Um, Over here, these are actually, it's a little experiment I'm doing. I'm making their paper pots, essentially. These are my kids. Um cups are actually my daughters now they were my sons but but I'm just using for molds and just seed start cups I'm letting them dry a little bit then I'll get them out I'll if these work out I will make a video on those and that's actually what's going on over it over here is I got we have a shredder so it's the water or paper that's soaking and then I'll shred it and make some more stuff maybe make some seed bombs too I don't know but, and then just to update on the rest of the stuff. Hey, princess. So in here, I got my poor pathos. It's, it's doing decent. Maybe it's still alive for how much it's been neglected. But, 
And then another one of the Christmas seed flowers. I, I can't remember what they're called, but got another one here from Chris this year or this last year. But yeah, that's all. You say bye, Abby? Abby, say bye-bye.